see that? That's the pixie dust that Steve Jobs sprinkles over the audience before every keynote to make sure that we're all totally mesmerized by everything he says. And the truth is, he's one of the best keynote presenters in the business. Today, he showed us a whole bunch of cool stuff, including updates to the iPhone, some new applications that look pretty cool, updates to iTunes. We can now download and view HD movies, and we can rent movies, which is something that a lot of people have been expecting. And he updated Apple TV so that you can do all the stuff that you can do in iTunes. You don't need a computer. You can download movies directly to your Apple TV with this nifty on-screen interface. It's all pretty cool, but not mind-blowing, even though people cheered loudly at every single thing he announced. The one product that really did impress me is the new MacBook Air, which is a new super thin and super light notebook. It weighs just three pounds, and it's about three quarters of an inch thick at its thickest part, it's sort of wedge-shaped, so it looks very cool and yet it doesn't seem to be much of a compromise. It's got a 13.3 inch screen, which is pretty big, and what Jobs was calling a full-size keyboard. It's got an Intel Core 2 Duo processor and two gigs of RAM. It really shows to me that Jobs is not just a showman, but he's a really good CEO, and that Apple can really execute on innovation. I think this is gonna be really good for Apple in the market because a notebook like this is just gonna wow people. I'm sure it's gonna sell a ton of units. It's priced pretty reasonably at about $1,800. So I expect this notebook, when it becomes available in about two weeks, to do really well. One sour note about this conference is that it looks like registration is maybe a little bit screwed up and the conference may be a little less well organized than Macworlds usually are. I, I saw you on the screen at the keynote, yeah. but, but uh, you, what, what, I didn't see you in the keynote yourself. What's up with um, that? They, they didn't give me a media pass, actually. They didn't uh, give yeah. you a media pass? No. So I don't know what's up with that. And then while we were setting up outside, this crazy Australian guy ran by and practically assaulted our producer, demanding some kind of uh, change to the registration process. Another person complained that lines out outside the registration area were incredibly long, and he seemed pretty upset too. So hopefully next year Macworld will be a little better organized. And if you're coming this year, I hope you can get in.